Los Angeles, all eyes on Bob Segrin. A 17-plus pole vaulter, he takes the Coliseum Relays title, then competes at Fresno, where he clears 17 feet, five and a half inches, a world outdoor record. Also at Los Angeles, the two-mile run makes headline sports news. The field includes the durable constable from Kenya, Kipchoge Kano, running against top U.S. entries led by Jim Grella and Jim Ryan, who run the mile and two-mile with equal ease. Kano takes the lead, while Grella and Ryan remain on the pace, saving ground for the final duel to the tape. Kano always pushes the field to the limits of speed and endurance. Watch closely, Kano tosses off his cap, his usual gesture before the final lap when victory is in sight. But Grella and Ryan close behind are revising the script for this race. On the far turn of the final lap, Ryan passes Kano. Grella passes Kano. The contest is now between Ryan on the inside and Grella. Ryan, the lanky 19-year-old Kansas freshman in his second competitive two-mile race, running as he does in the mile, beating Grella by about a yard. Ryan's time, 8.25-2, an American record, and he gets stronger with every race. The object of these magnifying glass examinations at the Washington National Gallery of Art is a miniature masterpiece of St. George and the Dragon, only recently put on exhibition. Since its display, it has become a most popular attraction, from opening till closing the subject of critical and appreciative study. Said to be the work of the 15th century Flemish artist Roger van der Weyden, it is only slightly larger than a common postcard, measuring a mere five and five-eighths inches high and four and one-eighth inches wide. It is a highly prized acquisition, purchased at a London auction for $616,000, provided by the Ailsa Mellon Bruce Fund. Here is an enlargement of the masterpiece's myriad details. The landscape, a medieval castle, and other regional objects, and of course the legendary encounter of saint and beast. <laughs> 